Hello and welcome to another puzzle video. Uh, this one is about drawing a kind of neat little graph thing. <laughs> I was super obsessed with this as a kid and I don't <laughs> remember what it's called exactly. Uh, but the Wikipedia complete graph, uh, yeah, this, this thing. Basically for any number of points, connect them to every other point in a circle pattern. And for odd numbers, they make this kind of cool inner circles thing. That's seven, you can't really see it, but we'll see it later when we build out with 15, uh, which is the one that we drew by hand as kids. I, I don't remember what it's called. I, we called it like a rose circle or something. I don't think that's the official name, but anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna implement those today. And I'm gonna show you a few that were done by members of my Discord. Some of theirs turned out really cool. Uh, mine will be not so cool, but that's fine. All right, so we're going to start, we're just going to make an HTML document. Canvas was like the easiest way that I could think of to do this. So I'm just going to set up sort of our boilerplate here. Uh, meta care set equals UTF-8. Oh, goodness. <laughs> uh, and then we'll get a body here. We're going to put a canvas element. Work kit. Let's see, canvas. I think you can just do width and height on them. That true. Where is that? Uh, did I just scroll past it? Well, this is not the element. This is the API. We want the element. Okay. Uh, height, height, and width. Okay, cool, perfect. So we're just gonna set ours to. Uh, let's do width first, just for sanity's sake, and. Canvas, and I'm just going to do this all in one document. So we're also going to put a little script here. Ugh. A little self executing anonymous function, and whatever, we'll just detent this. Who cares? <laughs> and HTML. So that'll get us started with this. Let's open that up, see what it looks like so far. It should be basically nothing. Uh, cool. Let's do some little styling. Uh, body HTML background. Just give it zero. And let's fill in the rectangle. Let canvas equals document dot query selector. Grab our canvas. I remember you have to do canvas dot something. How do you get the context? Uh, get context 2D, get context 2D. And I think this starts by just filling it in. Yeah, so we'll just fill in the background. And we'll grab this. Uh, Cause right now I think, yeah, it's just gonna be black. Uh, let's put a, a white box on top of that. Uh, actually just de-dent this as well. <laughs> Save our cells are in that. Uh, so we'll just use FFF to get us white and zero zero canvas dot width canvas dot height and if we run that okay cool we have a blank box <laughs> so the next thing that I wanted to do is we're gonna plot a number of points I'm gonna let this points be something we can configure uh, so let's start with 15 I think that's gonna be a good idea here. And my, my thought here is to build up an array of points. Uh, I think I can use polar coordinates. So polar coordinates go from, they're basically a, in a circle, you go from zero to two pi and then it loops. Um, and I think I can convert polar coordinates to standard coordinates. Let's see, polar coordinates to x, y. X equals R cosine theta, Y equals R cosine theta. Okay, so we need R, which will be our radius. Let's give our canvas a little bit of buffer. So we'll subtract like some number from it. Let's do canvas dot width minus 20 over two. That'll give us our radius. Uh, let's build up an array of points, let points was that for let i equals zero i less than points <laughs> i plus equals one yeah and and i don't know we're writing a lot of code i'm doing it fairly fast but i'm also showing you basically how i would go about learning this as i'm doing it um and let us 
Let's just draw the points on the canvas really quickly before we put this in array, just so that we can see where they are. Um, but I think we have what r times math.cos, and we need to generate our polar coordinate. It's gonna go from zero to two pi, and we can use the fraction of the points probably. So i divided by points times two times math dot, I think it's capital pi. And that'll give us our position. And we do the same thing for y, except instead of cos it is sine. That should give us our coordinates. Let's actually just plot those. Draw circle canvas. Now I'm gonna click on W3 schools. <laughs> okay, this seems reasonable. What does this do? A circle with a boundary, but we don't really care about the boundary, so let's just get this early part in here. And instead of context, we have CTX and center x will be x and y radius we can just set some small value and this is the arc and green okay let's try that and see what that does nothing <laughs> do we have a javascript here point is not defined oh yeah points okay well we have <laughs> we have our circle uh, but it's centered around zero, zero, which is the top left, which is not what we want. So let's center it around the middle of the canvas, which will be canvas dot width over two and canvas dot height over two. An extra space there. Cool, okay, so we have our points now. Uh, now all we need to do is connect them all together. How do we draw a line? Draw a line canvas. <laughs> now I'm gonna click all these schools. Uh, is there another stack overflow? Let's see what this does. Line two, x, y. Okay, yeah, this looks like what we want. Let's copy and paste that. Okay, so now that we have these, we can actually get rid of the points here. Let's put them into our array. Points dot push on a pen. We're not in Python. <laughs> And I'm just going to make an object literal to stick those in there. X, Y. Does JavaScript have trailing commas? I hope it does. If not, well. Uh, okay, and then we need to loop over every point and every other point, so not including itself. Uh, I plus equals 1. And we'll do another loop for let J equals I plus 1. So every other point will be your coordinate point plus everything after it. K, why did I call it K? Skipped J. I can't type J's for some reason. <laughs> J less than points and J plus equals one. And basically what we wanna do is this line drawing code. Uh, don't need these comments. Get rid of them. Okay, bn path. So we need to go from the first point, so we points i dot x and points i dot y. And we're going to draw that line to points j dot x and points j dot y. And ctx dot stroke. Uh, <laughs> I feel like that's not going to work without configuring the stroke. We not configure it. Maybe it has a default. We have line width. Uh, let's set line width. That's at least one thing that we can do. Line width. Okay, was it lowercase? I missed it. <laughs> oh, that's camel case. Uh, let's make it three. And I think these are strokes. So how do you set canvas set stroke color? Stroke style. Okay. CTX dot stroke style. Let's just set it to <laughs> some color and we can always change that later. Okay, I think this is all we need to do to implement this. Let's run it and see what it does. Ooh, nice. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted. Maybe make this less thick and, uh, I don't know, use some subtle gray instead. Oh, that's pretty nice. Okay, cool. This is essentially what I, what I wanted 
to, to generate. Uh, but the cool thing is we can change the number of points here. And I think with even numbers, yeah, with even numbers, they go across the middle and it looks not as cool. I think the odd numbers do really well. What happens if we set like a really large odd number? 55. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I've always, I've always wanted to be able to generate these, so now I have code that does it. Cool! Well, anyway, there's my solution. Uh, let me show you a few solutions from my Discord. All right, so I picked out a few of the ones from solutions on my Discord. Here is the first one that was sent in, which is uh, a nice, cool one. It, it uses uh, Matplotlib to kind of <laughs> do this all for you. Uh, apparently, there's this is called Roots of Unity. It's kind of cool. Um, and they just generated a PNG. And the cool thing is GitHub will actually show you these. So you can see there's 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 generated for seven points as well as for 15. Uh, they did some nice cool coloring tool. I really like that. Here's one that was sent in by Beldathis, which they actually animated everything, which is really cool. Uh, so check this out. <laughs> a little Beldathis writes code in here. But yeah, real fancy animation. Really cool. I really like this one. Uh, and then it speeds up and generates the rest of the points a bit quicker. And you get that same pattern that we saw in all the other ones. But yeah, that one that one's really cool. Really like that one. Uh, and then we have this one, which is entirely an awk script. Uh, I don't think they actually showed the output. So let's, I guess, just generate that here real quick. Uh, I assume you just do this. I've actually never uh, written awk. How does it work? Dash F? Um, how does how does this work? Do I have to import the number? Num points equals dollar sign one. Okay, so I think we do echo fifteen to awk dash f t dot awk, and then out dot svg perhaps. Hey, cool. It looks like they missed a few points in here, but overall generated the. The right sort of thing. That's that's pretty cool. <laughs> Did it entirely in awk. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can fix their bug. Uh, J equals. Let's do I plus one. A less than num point. That does it properly. Nope. <laughs> okay, there's there's clearly something else to be fixed here. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, still pretty cool. Um, but anyway, those were some solutions from from my Discord, uh, and I will be posting a new puzzle, uh, hopefully when this video comes up. So check out the Discord. The links in the description. The puzzles puzzles channel. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.